Hey friends, Elizabeth here from Plant Based Pride back again with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a bunch of ideas for holiday gift giving, trying to get this up early enough that you have time if you're still searching for ideas for friends and family that hopefully some of these will spark your imagination or give you some ideas for the types of things that you could gift during the holiday season. So that's the video idea. That's what we're doing. I'm going to jump into it because I have lots of ideas to share with you. And there is a giveaway coming up in this video. So hang tight. That is coming closer to the end of the video. But in the meantime, let's go through category by category. So the first category I want to talk about, of course, is stationary. I feel like what else do you expect from me? <laughs> Even before I got into bullet journaling, I was a huge fan of stationery and I feel like it's a great gift idea. So I'm going to go through a couple ideas again, just to kind of get your imagination going get your creative juices flowing. And hopefully this helps if you have anyone on your list who may be into stationery. So of course, one of the first things that we're going to think about is a notebook. A notebook is a great gift at the holidays for pretty much anyone. Everyone can find a use for a notebook, even if they aren't into journaling or bullet journaling. So obviously I'm going to recommend some of the brands that I have personally used or used frequently like Archer and Olive and Notebook Therapy. I'll leave links down below. And of course, for any brands that I have a discount code or an affiliate code, I will indicate those in the description box so you can get a discount if you are shopping for the holidays. And I thought I'd just highlight a couple items from each of these brands. Obviously, anything on their website could make a good gift, especially if you were shopping for someone like you or me. But there were a couple things that I wanted to point out, especially as good gift ideas. So of course, getting someone a notebook from Archer and Olive for the holidays is a wonderful gift idea. They come in these gorgeous decorative boxes, which just adds another layer to the luxury of unwrapping a gift. Again, any of their notebooks would be an amazing gift, but I really feel like the traveler's size notebook is especially great for holiday gift giving and especially versatile. I love this. It is a little traveler size notebook. It has 144 dock red pages. They're same 160 GSM, really nice thick white dock red paper. But this is a lot more of a travel friendly, portable sort of style. So especially for someone who's maybe not into bullet journaling, but they maybe want to have a notebook that they can throw in their bag, jot down ideas. Maybe they are writing a book, maybe they just are forgetful. Maybe they want to have something to have at work to write down their ideas. This dark green one with the uh, gold leaves is especially beautiful, but they have so many different designs. And again, it's so nicely wrapped. So you really don't even have to do too much to finish the wrapping job. If you went with something like this, again, I have a discount code for Archer and Olive 10% off with PBB10. That is an affiliate code. So this is the first thing I wanted to highlight from Archer and Olive because I just feel like especially the traveler's notebooks. They're kind of slept on, but I feel like they are such a great gift idea. The other item from our and Olive that I wanted to mention that may be less thought of in the context of gift buying is their desk pads. These are awesome. This one in particular is the B5 size Neapolitan. So pages are Neapolitan, as you would expect. The size is B5 for these pages. And again, these are the Archer and Olive 160 GSM pages. So they're nice, thick, high quality. And all the pages are perforated so that you can rip them off from the top. And it has this really beautiful deep gray vegan leather. It's hard on the back with gold accents. So I just feel like this is a really beautiful gift as well for especially anyone who's working from home right now who again, maybe isn't into bullet journaling, but they're just finding they have a lot of things to keep track of. I've been keeping this on my desk next to my mouse just to jot down ideas when I have them, to write down things that I really, really, really don't want to forget. You know, I've already written them in my bullet journal, but I write them again just to be sure. Uh, notes while I'm working on a video, whatever. Um, I used to use post-its for this every single day. As you all know, if you've seen a flip through video of one of my completed bullet journals, the uh, post-it graveyards in the back cover, but this is a much more upscale version of my uh, post-it usage. It looks a lot nicer on my desk and I'm able to use a single page for, you know, even a couple weeks jotting down little things before I can flip it over to the other side, finish using it. 
There are also obviously a million other creative ways you could use this desk pad as you know many people have demonstrated but I just feel like this is a really beautiful gift idea for anyone in your life again who's working from home trying to stay on top of things it's very upscale feeling very luxurious again so that's another one I wanted to highlight from Archer and Olive. As for notebook therapy they have a million things on their website that could make a good gift of course notebooks are going to be you know a go-to they're a great gift idea they also have a bunch of beautiful notebooks but again i wanted to highlight a couple things that maybe would be less thought of as a gift idea that are still great gift ideas so the first thing is their stamp set so they have these bullet journal tracking stamps these are great especially if whoever you have on your list is into bullet journaling and maybe they're less artistic or they don't have a lot of time for setting up spreads you know just grab a small black stamp pad to go along with it and you're good to go again it comes in an adorable little box this is a great gift idea and people will if you have the types of friends and family who shake gifts before they open them they will be intrigued the most important thing. Another alternative, if you're thinking stamps, is an alphabet stamp set. This is the one that I use in my videos all the time. I'll link where I got it down below, but this is also a great option if you have a friend who's into bullet journaling but maybe isn't really into hand lettering. I mean, you've seen me use it all the time. It's very quick and you get a nice vintagey look. Obviously, you can get alphabet stamp sets with a bunch of different types of fonts or typefaces. I personally really like the sort of typewriter font, but that's up to you, of course. Oh, and one more thing from Notebook Therapy, which people might not think of off the top of their head, are their little pencil cases. These are adorable. They come in a bunch of different colors. They have this really soft corduroy on the bottom and then a white vegan leather at the top. And they're super cute, super portable. And the great thing is that you can actually slide the white part down over the colored part once you've opened it. I'll show you instead of just telling you since I'm holding it. And the really cute thing is that you can slide it down like this and stand it up on your desk and it will stay standing on its own and you can easily grab all the things from your pencil case while you're using them and then when you're done you can just pop it back up, zip it closed, throw it in your bag and you're good to go. I bought a number of these for friends and family so this is another one that I think makes a really good gift idea for again just about anyone. Another stationary item that I think would make a great gift is something from Paper Blanks. Paper Blanks is a company that makes these gorgeous notebooks. This one is a lined notebook, but obviously looks like a stunning vintage book of some kind with these little clasps to keep it closed, red ribbon bookmark, just absolutely stunning. And even the edges of the paper are really beautifully patterned. So y'all have seen this before. My husband purchased this from Paper Blanks back in 2015, 2015, uh, and DIY'd it into a ring box. He used this when he proposed to me. So I keep it around. Obviously it has sentimental value for that reason, but also just cause it's an absolutely stunning book. And of course, you don't have to use it to propose to somebody. You could just use it as a notebook, but they have so many different designs. They are all so stunning. They all feel like a one of a kind masterpiece, even though they're not. And I feel like the price point is pretty reasonable on these. So I feel like this is again, a really great gift for someone in your life who maybe really loves something super vintagey. And they also have a bunch of notebooks that are inspired by different artists. So if you have an art lover in your life, I believe they also do sketchbooks or artist journals, as well as, you know, regular lined notebooks for writing. So yes, paper blanks, also an amazing gift idea. And I've received paper blanks notebooks as gifts for my entire life. My parents used to give me paper blanks notebooks at the holidays when I was a kid. Great gift idea. I love that I'm just congratulating myself on my own gift ideas, but listen, I think they're good ideas. That's why I'm sharing them. So the next thing that I want to share in the realm of stationery is a little less traditional, and that is the Rocketbook Wave. This was actually a holiday gift for me that I believe my dad gave me a couple years ago. And it's really, really interesting. It's a really cool concept. So basically, this notebook, which comes with dot grid pages, is ostensibly the only notebook you would ever need again. 
outside of a bullet journal. Or, I mean, you could use this as a bullet journal as well if you wanted. But the reason why you could potentially use this notebook for the rest of time is that it has two really cool features. And the first feature is that it is scannable and you can scan your page and back up your handwritten notes to a variety of apps, including Google Drive, Dropbox, and Evernote. And you might be thinking, that's great, but I will still eventually finish the notebook, right? Wrong. If you use the Pilot Frixion heat sensitive pens, they're erasable pens. If you use those in this notebook, and at least when I got it, it came with one, you can actually microwave the notebook and it will erase all the pen and it'll be a fresh, clean notebook ready to use all over again with all your notes backed up to whatever app you prefer. And that to me is just absolute brilliance. I don't know who came up with this, but they are a genius. I think it is so cool. I just think it's a great gift idea, again, for someone in your life who maybe writes a lot of things down, but then has trouble keeping track of them, or they end up with a million notebooks with three pages used in each. Maybe this is the thing they need. Back them up to an app where they can quickly look them up, be able to write analog by hand if that's something they prefer, and then be able to just microwave it and start again when they run out of pages instead of having to get a new notebook. It's great. And the very last thing I want to mention in the stationary category is a nice fountain pen and some ink. I want to highlight Ferris Wheel Press. They are a Canadian company. They make gorgeous vegan inks in so many stunning colors and these really, really beautiful fountain pens, especially if you have a friend who's really into, again, bullet journaling, or maybe they're into hand lettering, calligraphy, maybe they want to get into letter writing, especially with everything happening this year. Maybe you could become pen pals with a friend and work on your penmanship and keep in touch that way. Could be a really gorgeous gift. So check them out. They are a great small Canadian company. I love supporting local companies here. So yes, those are all my stationary ideas. Hopefully that sparked something. Again, everything I mentioned will be in the description box down below. I will split them up into categories as well, help keep them organized. Okay, so on to the second category, which is apparel, style, clothing, things you wear, basically. So in this category of clothing, jewelry, that kind of stuff. So first I want to talk about clothing. I have two suggestions here. The first suggestion is the company Change, C-H-N-G-E. They're a sustainable clothing brand that I found on Instagram. They are in support of many different types of activism and a lot of their clothing has a message to it, which I really appreciate. And they often create small collections of clothing that support a specific issue or donate money to a specific cause, which I really love. So I have a couple pieces from them. I'll show you two of them. So there's this shirt, which is a really boxy cropped shirt in sort of an off-white oatmeal color. Every body is beautiful, which I adore. They also have their little logo there. I pulled a string. <laughs> really nice thick organic cotton. And the other one I have from them is this one here, which is sort of a t-shirt dress. Um, and it is again embroidered this is the front and then the back it says zero tolerance for racism, sexism, ableism, homophobia, transphobia, xenophobia, or any form of discrimination. So they really are all about sustainable clothing with a message, which I adore. So if you have a friend who is into supporting social justice movements, human rights, all that good stuff, climate change, you know, things that matter, Change is a really cool brand to support. And I feel like their pieces are not only high quality, they're made really well, um, but they also just have this very unique feel to them that makes them stand out from just any old t-shirt or hoodie or whatever. The other brand I wanna mention, and by extension, a whole sort of category of brands is Lights of All, which is a small, Toronto-based Canadian sustainable clothing brand. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen I did a couple posts wearing a dress from the new collection. Katya, who is the owner of Lights of All, and she is, you know, the one woman show. She makes all of the clothing herself. She's wonderful. She sent me a dress to try, and it's just stunning. And, you know, I would highly recommend supporting Lights of All or a company similar to it, especially a company that is local to you. I think that shopping local is really important, especially in our current economy, our current climate. Supporting sustainably made clothing that is made in your area is super important. So I would highly recommend doing a little bit of searching wherever you live, seeing if there are some small sustainable companies near you that you can support. Another one here in Toronto that I love is Mary Young. They do sort of loungewear and intimates. 
I have some pieces from them that are stunning. I just think obviously I am a fan of supporting sustainable clothing, but I feel like it's great to take that next step and support businesses that are located in your own country or in your own city and just extend it that much further. So yes. And the great thing about shopping from small businesses like Lights of All, for example, is that when you make a purchase, it's not only a gift for whoever you're buying it for, but it also is a gift to that business owner. As a small business owner, you know, every sale you make is a celebration and you're making their holiday too. So it's just a great win-win. It always feels good to shop small, in my opinion. So for some other wearable things, for jewelry as in, you know, necklaces, earrings, rings, bracelets, I would highly recommend Ana Luisa. Y'all know I am an Ana Luisa partner. I've been working with them this year on, you know, some videos here and there, and all of their pieces use recycled gold. They are carbon neutral. They're really focused on being a fair trade, eco-friendly, sustainability focused brand. And I really, really love that. Their pieces are stunning. Y'all have seen me wear them every single day for this whole year, but I think they're a really great brand to support. Their prices are really reasonable, so you can get someone in your life something really beautiful without breaking the bank. They also currently have a sale going on, so check it out. Their sale is buy one, get one 40% off, so you can get something for you and for a friend. Get a discount, good stuff. And the last thing I wanna talk about in this category of things you can wear is Pixie Mood. So again, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I've done a couple of giveaways with Pixie Mood recently. Pixie Mood is a Canadian-based company. They make vegan leather accessories, backpacks, bags, wallets, all the goods. They're really focused on trying to get more and more sustainable with their practices and their materials. They're just a really great brand to support. Again, they're a local Canadian brand. We love that here. So honestly, pretty much everything that Pixie Mood makes would make a great gift. And they really have very reasonably priced items. But there is one specific piece that I wanted to focus on for this video because I just think it's such, such a good gift idea. And that is the Michelle Clutch. I just think that this is such a versatile bag. You can use it a million and one different ways. The size is really great. So this could be perfect for just a day-to-day -day crossbody bag. It does come with a removable strap that you can adjust. So you can wear it over your shoulder or you can wear it as a crossbody and just throw your essentials in here. It also comes with a little wristlet strap that you can clip on. You can use them simultaneously or just use one at a time if you're more into that wristlet clutch life. The interior is made of recycled plastic bottles. There is one zippered pocket, the black croc version uh, that came out with their fall collection has this really cute little vegan leather thing castle i'm basically a cat <laughs> i just think that this is so incredibly versatile it can be used in so many different ways i was also thinking when i was coming up with a list for this video that these would make great really chic pencil cases that no one would suspect to be a pencil case it's the kind of thing that i would use as a pencil case to try to seem you know more adult <laughs> put together. It's a great size to hold an iPad. It could be used as a pencil case. It can be used to hold your wallet and your phone and you know your other necessities. Just such a versatile bag. I know I said it a million times, but it's true. So this is the cork and vegan leather. This is the apricot vegan leather, which is just such a perfect peachy coral shade. Again, it comes with the crossbody strap and it also has the little wristlet strap inside. There are a bunch more colors on the website and they obviously have a bunch more styles, backpacks, totes, wallets, all the things. But these in particular just felt so perfect as a holiday gift. They're really reasonably priced. They come in so many different colors that you could really get something for someone that they would end up using every single day, which I think is great when it comes to holiday gifting. Obviously we wanna be giving people things that they're actually going to want and use. And I feel like this is that. And Pixie Mood was kind enough to offer to do a giveaway for this video. So one person watching this video, one lucky person is going to win both of these two bags, not the ones I'm holding, your own new ones <laughs> will match. You'll win both, which means you can keep one and give one to your best friend, to your mom, to your cousin, to your brother, whoever, you know? I'm not gonna tell you who you can give it to. You could also keep both for yourself. I won't tell anyone, it's our secret. <laughs> 
check out the description box. All of the details will be there for how to enter as well as which countries are eligible and when is the last day to enter. So check it out. I just think they're great. I think they make great gifts and I'm really excited for one of you to win both of these. So yay, check out the description box. Thank you to Pixie Mood for offering to do this giveaway. I love doing giveaways. To be honest, they're the best. <laughs> I love giving things to people. That's why I love the holidays so much. Okay, so on to the final category of this holiday gift guide, which is home stuff. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to mention is going to surprise no one, and that is candles. Candles are an amazing holiday gift. Most people love to get candles. Obviously, check in first, make sure the person you are planning on giving them to is not sensitive to candles. Some people can be. Um, you can get unscented candles, but again, some people are not fans of candles. So just putting that in there. But many people, in my experience, adore candles. And there are so many options out there for candles to get, especially, again, sustainable candles that are handmade, small businesses, you know, single artisans who are creating these candles, and it's really awesome to support them. So I'm going to leave down below some options for places that you can buy some candles from small makers. But again, I highly encourage you to look up your area and try to buy it from someone local. Etsy is honestly the best place to find these small creators near you. And not only is it great to support, again, your local economy, your local creatives, but it helps because shipping tends to be cheaper and also faster, and you can typically avoid any kinds of customs or duties, which is always great. Another idea in that same vein is anything that is a one-of-a-kind, either handmade item or thrift find from Etsy. Etsy is a gold mine for <laughs> gift ideas, I'm telling you. Instagram can also be good for this, but it's a little bit harder to find those smaller creators I find on Instagram. I did manage to find this stunning vintage hand mirror on Instagram from Make Moves Vintage, which is also local to me, Toronto based. I'll link them down below. I typically would recommend Etsy over Instagram just because it is so much easier to find specifically what you're looking for and in your own local area. But yes, one of a kind vintage finds are such a good holiday gift in my opinion. Again, in fitting with sustainability, you know, giving something a second life and vintage things just tend to be so well made and so stunning, so. Highly recommend Etsy and Instagram for that. So moving on to my next gift idea, which is books. Obviously I'm a book fan. I love books. I think books are a great gift idea. And I feel like you can find a book for literally anyone, even people who don't typically read, which just makes them a really good bet when you're trying to buy something for someone. So I have three ideas about buying books for someone as a gift, as far as how to source them. So the first option, if you're going with, you know, the typical hardcover or paperback version of a book is to support a small bookstore. Again, I feel like a broken record, but a small bookstore in your area, that is where you can make the most impact with your holiday shopping. Do a Google search, find some local bookshops to you, call them up and ask them, will they ship to you? Will they allow you to go pick up the books you've purchased. The great thing about shopping from a small bookstore is not only are you helping to keep them alive, especially in the time that we're in, they could really use our support, but also they tend to be really great about helping with suggestions. So if you have someone on your list and you know they like to read, but you have no idea what to get them, you know that they read, you know, these two books last year and told you about it. If you call your small local bookshop and say, hey, I have a friend who likes these two books. Do you have any recommendations? They are likely to be way more helpful than any kind of big bookstore or, you know, something like Amazon. It's way easier to get a personalized recommendation. They want to help you. And again, you're supporting a small local business, which is just wonderful. My next recommendation may be a little harder right now, but it is a wonderful gift idea, which is a vintage edition of a book. So this is The Hobbit. This is a 1966 version, if I'm not mistaken. This was my mother's and she passed it down to me. A stunning version of the book. You can find some gems at local thrift shops. Now, some of them may not be open right now, so if you are kind of on the search for some vintage books, I would highly recommend, again, Etsy. There are a lot of vintage sellers on Etsy, and a lot of them are selling books, so you may be able to find the specific book you're looking for and get them shipped to you. I just think, again, this is such a special 
gift, especially if someone in your life loves a certain book and they already have the paperback or the hardcover edition, getting them a special version like a vintage edition can be such a wonderful gift idea and it doesn't have to be expensive. You can find some really great gems that are not too pricey, but are vintage editions of books that people have just, you know, thrown away. So highly recommend that if you are able to make that happen right now. And my third option for getting books as a gift is the priciest option. So I will say that up front, but if you have never heard of the Folio Society and you like books, well, let me tell you, the Folio Society makes gorgeous, gorgeous editions of books, hardcover editions. This is the Blue Fairy book. This was an edition that they did a number of years back. I think they still sell it on their website, but my parents gave me this for the holidays a number of years ago. And the Folio Society they make these stunning versions of books, hardcover, really beautifully bound, and they commission illustrators to create custom illustrations for their stories. So some books have more illustrations, some have less, but they're just really, really beautiful editions of a variety of books. They have a lot of options. Again, I would caution you that they are quite pricey, but they really are the kind of book that someone is going to hold on to for the rest of their lives and pass down to their children. I actually bought some Folio Society versions of books for my husband for the holidays. If you're watching this, Jason, I already told you not to watch this, but if you're still watching it, get out of here. So as you'll know this year, my husband and I did a lot of things in relation to Winnie the Pooh. We went to the ROM exhibit about Winnie the Pooh that was on when Toronto had lifted lockdown for a while. And then in October, I set up my husband's bullet journal with a Winnie the Pooh theme. And then I also read The Cow of Pooh, which is a book that my husband gave me years ago. So it's just been a Winnie the Pooh kind of year. And when I was perusing the Folio Society website, as I do often, because uh, I love books and I love beautiful things, I noticed that they had Winnie the Pooh and the house at Pooh Corner in stunning, stunning hardcover versions. And I just knew I had to get them for Jason. So these are beautiful. They are a matching set. So I couldn't just get one. And then I'll just pull one out so you can see. Gosh, these are so beautiful. Just, oh my God, stunning, stunning. These, of course, are illustrated by E.H. Shepard, the original illustrator, but they are color illustrations. I love E.H. Shepard's illustrations, as I mentioned in the uh, bullet journal setup that I did. I just think he is a genius when it comes to line art and expression, emotion in his art. So yeah, I just thought this was such a beautiful, beautiful edition of both of these. Winnie the Pooh means a lot to both of us individually and also us together. It seems to keep coming up in our relationship. So I thought this would be a really beautiful gift. It's something that we can, you know, display in our home. It's stunning, something that we can read and enjoy and something that we can, you know, pass down and keep in our family for generations. So again, the Folio Society is definitely on the pricier end. Definitely. They also occasionally will bind their books in leather. So if you're vegan like me, just keep an eye out. These are cloth bound, but they do sometimes do leather bound books. So just be aware of that if that's something that you are concerned about. But again, however you decide to purchase books for a friend or family member, I just think that books are such a beautiful gift because it's the gift that keeps on giving, you know? Okay, so we're almost to the end of my gift ideas. Another gift idea I wanted to bring up is sort of in the same vein as books, which are cards of different types. So obviously you can get something like a tarot deck, tarot cards, or there are a bunch of different types of cards that aren't specifically tarot, but are used in a similar way where you can sort of pull one or pull a couple and use that as inspiration for journaling or for self-reflection. I actually just purchased this set of cards, which is the I Am Everything Affirmation card deck from I Am & Co, which is a small black owned business. I think these are beautiful and it's a great idea to be able to pull a card each day and sort of say that affirmation to yourself and use that as a quiet self-care moment. And I think it's a really beautiful gift to give someone in your life. Same kind of deal when it comes to tarot cards. I have this gorgeous tarot card deck. This is the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot Deck by Matt Hughes, and it's a stunning Art Nouveau inspired deck. I love this. I think it's so beautiful. I'm not super knowledgeable when it comes to tarot, to be honest, 
But how I like to use the cards is just to pull a couple and to reflect on them and to use them as a journaling prompt. I also find these endlessly inspiring creatively just because they are so stunning. There are so many different types of tarot decks out there and other sort of decks that are inspired by tarot that can be really helpful, again, as I mentioned, for self-care, for self-care practice, for journaling inspiration, and especially with everything that's happening in 2020, I just feel like this is a really great gift to give someone to help them to be mindful and to take care of themselves because this year has been hard on our mental health and sometimes it's helpful to have something to focus on and something to sort of remind you to take that time for yourself and I really think that these kinds of decks can be great for that. So I don't want this video to go on forever so I think I'm going to end it there. I do have a bunch of other ideas that sort of were on my short list to include in this video. So if you're interested, let me know. Maybe I'll put together all the ones I shared in this video, as well as all the ones that I thought about including, but didn't for time reasons, into a blog post. And I can share that in the description box and you can check out all the other ideas that I didn't want to include so that this video wouldn't be a million hours long. So let me know in a comment if you would like to see all of the other ideas in a blog post. I could definitely do that for you. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it gave you some ideas for gifts that you could give friends and family at this time of year. I know it can be hard, and especially this year, there's a lot of uncertainty. A lot of us aren't going to be able to see our friends and family in person, and gifts might be looking a little different this year. And I also want to add before I go that there are also options that cost no money at all. Recording a video message, or writing someone a poem, or creating a piece of art for somebody, or creating a handmade card. All of those things can be gifts that you give that cost nothing but time and effort, and those are just as special. So even if this year has been hard and some of these gifts are not in the cards or not sort of possible for you this year, just remember that there are so many ways to show someone that you love them and appreciate them. And that's what the holiday season is all about. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you have more holiday gift ideas, leave them in the comments down below because I am always looking for more ideas and I'm sure everyone watching this video would also love to see more ideas. Also let me know which of the gifts I shared in this video you would most love to receive because I'm really curious to know. I don't know if I could pick one. I feel like mine would be a beautiful beautiful special edition folio society version of one of my favorite books. I just feel like that is, that makes my heart pitter patter. So anyway, I'm going to get going. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you really soon in my next one. Bye friends.